You have been given images which may serve to demonstrate the intentions of the spirits of darkness in the 1840s, 50s, 60s and 70s when they fought the followers of Michael. These spirits have been down here among human beings from the autumn of 1879. They have failed to achieve their aims. Spiritualism will not become the general human persuasion. People will not grow so clever from the materialistic point of view that they fall over themselves with their cleverness. The spiritual truths will take root among human beings. On the other hand, the spirits of darkness are now among us. We have to be on guard so that we may realize what is happening when we encounter them and gain a real idea of where they are to be found. The most dangerous thing you can do in the immediate future will be to give yourself up unconsciously to the influences which are definitely present. For it makes no difference to their reality whether they are recognized or unrecognized. It will be the main concern of these spirits of darkness to bring confusion into the rightful elements which are now spreading on earth and need to spread in such a way that the spirits of light can continue to be active in them. They will seek to push these in the wrong direction. I have already spoken of one such wrong direction, which is about as paradoxical as is possible. I have pointed out that while human bodies will develop in such a way that certain spiritualities can find room in them, the materialistic bent, which will spread more and more under the guidance of the spirits of darkness, will work against this and combat it by physical means. I have told you that the spirits of darkness are going to inspire their human hosts in whom they will be dwelling to find a vaccine that will drive all inclination towards spirituality out of people's souls when they are still very young. And this will happen in a roundabout way through the living body. Today bodies are vaccinated against one thing and another. In future children will be vaccinated with a substance which it will certainly be possible to produce and this will make them immune so that they do not develop foolish inclinations connected with spiritual life. Foolish here, of course, in the eyes of materialists. The whole trend goes in a direction where a way will finally be found to vaccinate bodies so that these bodies will not allow the inclination toward spiritual ideas to develop. And all their lives, people will believe only in the physical world they perceive with the senses out of impulses which the medical profession gained from presumption, oh, I beg your pardon, from the consumption they themselves suffered, people are now vaccinated against consumption. And in the same way, they will be vaccinated against any inclination towards spirituality. This is merely to give you a particularly striking example of many things that will come in the near and more distant future in this field. The aim being to bring confusion into the impulses which want to stream down to earth after the victory of the spirits of light. The first step must be to throw people's views into confusion, turning their concepts and ideas inside out. This is a serious thing and must be watched with care, for it is part of some highly important elements which will be the background to events now in preparation. Anyone who is able to see more deeply into these matters knows them to be preparations. It would be good if many people could realize the extent to which they are under illusions. For it was the ideal of the spirits of darkness before 1879, and has been even more so since they walk among us in the human realms since 1879, to spin a web of illusion over human beings and into human brains and let illusions stream through human hearts. It is necessary to take these things with profound seriousness and not apply to them the concepts and ideas which people have been in the habit of using as their criteria. It will be necessary to realize that the present time demonstrates the inadequacy and indeed the utter uselessness of the ideas humanity has come to accept and that in terms of world history it is indecent for people to base their judgment on the very ideas which have led to present events, when those events clearly show them to have been wrong. 
do people think they can cure the ills of the present time by applying the same principles which have brought them about? If so, they are utterly deceiving themselves. Humanity has a certain sum total of cultural achievements which come from older times. These are now being used up. Every day brings evidence of their being used up without anything new taking their place. The events in which we are caught up today indicate where humanity stands now. What matters now is not merely to understand them, but to find a way out of them. Yet, while there is so little will to penetrate the deeper real impulses which have led to the present age, practical minds will not be able to understand these matters. It is wrong to think that no one has sufficient insight into the current situation. People simply do not want to listen to them.